was told it, I was in the middle of a busy shift, I was asked to remove my necklace. Um, to me, it's not a piece of jewellery, it never has been, so my decline wasn't meant, or wasn't welcomed by management and after various um, meetings and interviews, um, my request that it was a piece of religious significance to me. It's something I've worn since my confirmation, 30, you know, when I was 16, so a lot of years ago. I've worn it all through my nursing career, and this took place in 2009. So it was a, um, the result was that I couldn't do frontline nursing. I was removed to a clerical job. Um, we then went to tribunal, and the tribunal decision was that um, I was at fault, not the trust. At the moment I feel Christians are very marginalised in the workplace. We don't get a fair hearing. Other faiths are allowed to manifest their, through clothing or jewellery in their workplace. Christians are not. Arrive for work as a volunteer counsellor um, and for some reason, to my surprise, I was asked to come into the office by the Relate Avon um, office manager. And he put to me the question, what would happen, um, what would be my stance, my view, um, if I were faced in the future with providing sex therapy to same-sex couples? Really important to understand that um, I provided and continue to provide counselling to same-sex individuals particularly. So that was a journey I had done with my supervisor to come to a good place, so that was not the issue. The, uh, at the time as well, I was a trainee sex therapist, so I hadn't thought about what the future might hold. I'm just concerned about getting through this course, which I'm paying for, very expensive. And so when the question was put to me, um, I didn't understand why it was being asked and um, not something I had thought about myself. But really I was forced up against a wall in a sense and forced to express a view. Um, having thought about it and forced, I said, well, I am going to face a conflict as a Christian of some 30-something years. However, I will comply with the equal opportunities policy and if at some future date I face the very real issue, um, and there are real clients being put to me, then I would take it to supervision and I would discuss it with my manager. Essentially, I was dismissed for gross misconduct on the basis that I could not be believed and therefore um, removed from relate. We live in multicultural Britain. Cases like this are going to come up repeatedly time and time again and the balance just is not right and it's really not really about Gary McFarlane, it's not about the Christian faith, it is about folks of faith or no faith who consider that they have a conscientious view, a strong view, not just a whim, but a strong view about something, their rights should be looked at and a better balance achieved.